We're getting close and personal in this one. In the last eight months, I've had about one month's worth of work. A lot of video people have had similar slumps, and though things are picking up full-time workload for me, I know it may not be that way forever or for all of you. So here are some things that I have found helpful to think about and to do in these times of drought. Let's start with a mindset lesson. So many days I remember thinking, I must not have projects because I'm no good. What do we do with this? Well, if your work is like this, you may be onto something. If not, we replace it with some truth. Review positive feedback you've received from clients in the past. You are good at what you do. People have paid you money to do it and have loved the work you've produced for them. You are good at what you do. That's not what happened. Can you be better? Always. So learn how you can improve, but you aren't out of work because you are bad at videography. I keep emails from clients who have gone wild over how much they loved the videos that I made for them for such a time as these, and you should as well. Okay, project idea number one. If you are out of work, make a spec piece. Think about the type of client you would like to acquire and make a killer video in that niche. Niche? Niche? Go all out if you can. You may not be able to afford to spend much money since you're out of work, so to speak, but access the resources you have around you. Want to get into high-end car commercials? Do you have a friend who has a luxury car or a sports car? Storyboard every single shot out and plan a weekend to film together. Our next mindset issue. I am a failure because I can't get more work. Let's see, uh, what should we do with this? You are not defined by what you do. Your identity is more than video, more than your bottom line, and more than the number of projects you work on in a year. Hey, it may very well be that your business fails this year, but that does not make you a failure. I had to face this reality this year, seven months without work. Yes, my company wasn't gonna make it much longer, but I wasn't a failure. I was learning valuable lessons. I was surrounded by an amazing community, both near and far to me geographically, and God was providing for my every need. I wasn't a failure and neither are you. Your identity is more than what you do. Next project idea. Try to recreate a commercial or a scene from a movie, shot for shot, as close as you can replicate it. Getting the lighting perfect, the location, costumes, makeup, focal length and composition, color grade, try to match everything as close as you possibly can. It's a whole lot harder than you think, and you will learn so much. I've grown in my understanding, appreciation for, and skills in lighting specifically from doing this kind of stuff. You'll learn and improve so much, so do it. Okay, next mindset issue. The longer I'm out of work, the worse I will get at my craft. I am losing my skills. Hmm, well let's think. This one is totally on you. Yes, you may be accruing rust. Knock it off with some of these project ideas. Your skill set and muscle memory is up to you. If you want to stay in shape, keep making videos. You may not get paid for them yet, but they may garner paid projects down the road. Push yourself creatively and technically so you don't lose your edge. With that in mind, here's another project idea. Do a passion project. Have you ever wanted to get into documentary filmmaking? Do a one day doc. Spend one day shooting interviews and B-roll and take a couple of weeks to edit it into a three to eight minute documentary. Keep it small and attainable, but go make something. Maybe you're into vintage lenses. Go shoot a passion project with a super multi-coated Takamar. I had an absolute blast doing this. Maybe you've wanted to start shooting a short film. Write up your script, storyboard it out, Grab your friends over a weekend and get it made. It's going to be bad. Who cares? You made it and you did it for the pure joy of it. You'll be inspired to make another one and it will be better. Before you know it, you may even have something that you could enter into a film festival. Go for it. Just make something for the pure delight you get from it in and of itself. Next mindset issue. Everyone has forgotten me and I'm the only one going through this. First off, nope, no. Nada, no way, you're not alone. We all go through times of drought. This is a shared human experience. Everybody hurts. Everybody feels alone. 
everybody feels inadequate. Even those videographers you really respect or feel jealous of or intimidated by, they all go through droughts. They feel like they aren't good enough. Something I've learned to do that sounds counterintelligent, but has been so very helpful is to be vulnerable and share my experience with others. Tell others how slow things are, how hard it's getting. Now don't do this to get a pity party and don't do this to prospects to try to make them buy from you out of sympathy. No, share it with your mentors, your peers on Facebook groups, and specifically ask for their stories of when they were in similar situations and what they learned in the midst. Make this about them, not about you. As you hear stories from others, you'll see that this is something we all go through and we all come out again. You aren't alone and this isn't forever. Take heart, you'll make it through. God is faithful and he will provide. He always has for me and he will for you. Okay, last project idea. Do free, quote unquote, projects for ideal clients. Now be careful here. Make sure there is always an exchange of some sort going on. You need to communicate the value you are getting by doing free video for them. Maybe you can use a potential clientele to sell stock footage. Reach out to a construction company and tell them you are looking to expand your stock footage portfolio and ask if you can shoot one of their crews at work, getting all releases signed of course, and in exchange you'll cut a social media ad for them. Contact a fitness coach and tell him or her you are looking to get into some more social media retainers but need to build a portfolio. Ask if you can shoot some dope reels for them for your sample work and tell them that they can then use it for their social media platforms for free. You may get nine no's, but eventually you'll land a yes. If you make the experience magical for that one yes and they love your work, they may bring you on for paid projects or someone else may see what you made for them and reach out. Ideas don't cost you anything but the time to come up with them and pitch them to someone. So get creative and think of ways to create some win-win opportunities. And last mindset issue, I can't get new clients or I can't sell the kinds of projects that I want to. Well, this one is sort of true. You can't make anyone buy anything from you. You can't make anyone do anything. But you know people, you make good videos, and you can serve people with your abilities. So find ways to serve people. We work with people we know, like, and trust. So get to know more people and be likable. Go to networking events, hang out and introduce yourself to people at the golf club, your local coffee shop, volunteer for a nonprofit's event. Be generous with your time because you have plenty of it right now and your personality and your ideas. Ask lots and lots of questions and get to learn as much as you can about others. They'll return the favor. Hang out around the people you want to work with and get to know them. Find out what their hobbies are or where they spend their time and do that yourself. Invest in people, see yourself as being here to serve them and to help them be successful, and you'll make dividends. It may not always be money and projects, but deep friendships are worth more than money in the bank. I've sold projects and made deep friendships simply by networking, investing in others, and being intentional about relationships first over profits. Maybe last piece of advice is take this time of slow business to invest in yourself. Check out books at the library and read for a change. Start a new hobby. Do something to improve your skill sets, learn something new, or become a better, more well-rounded person. Well-well-rounded. Well-well-rounded person. A well-rounded person. When business picks back up for you, you won't have the time to do this, so make this personal investment now while you have the time. Reading is one of the best things you can do for yourself. All of the successful people in history were avid readers. So pick up any book that interests you on any subject, fiction or nonfiction, and read. Not every season is harvest. Farmers need winter times to buy their seed, repair their equipment, get involved in their community, and catch up on sleep. The chaos and plenty of spring and fall will come soon enough. So make that personal investment now while you have the time. Well, I hope this video has been helpful for you because though I won't be seeing you in my next video, you're sure to see me rough.